Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Nox Asian Recipes. Today Nock is harvesting young cassia leaves and also some of the flowers to use for making a curry. Cassia tree is from South Asia and Southeast Asia and it's very common to make different kinds of curries and stews with cassia leaves. And today Nock has access to the fresh leaves here close to our house. In some places they use mostly the dry leaves, but it's an advantage of course to have fresh leaves available. There are different species of cassia plant, cassia tree, that can be used. Uh, all of them, I believe, need to be cooked before you use them. So many plants have something that's bitter tasting or uh, disagreeable, actually. And, of course, that's the plant's natural defenses. And a lot of these substances have some medicinal properties, but also means that you might want to... Uh, check and see if this species is okay to eat and if so in the case of cassia leaves you need to boil it once or twice and discard the water before you cook with it. So Nock has separated out not only the leaves but some of the flowers, right? She says they remind her of peanuts. You can see they're kind of tough. Hard, and she's going to cook them first. She's going to boil the flowers in water and afterwards she'll add the leaves. And the leaves, before she cooks them, of course, she's rinsed them a couple of different times with water and drained them and rinsed them again, clean them up really nicely. And now she'll add them to the flowers which have been boiling for about 10 or 15 minutes. So she'll get her leaves into the pot, let them boil up with the flowers. And these are going to boil for about 15 or 20 minutes more together with the flowers. And at the end of this period, then you can see that they've turned a kind of a brown color. And she's going to discard the water and rinse these off. Once she's drained the cassia leaves together with some of the flowers, she's actually going to want to squeeze out some of the water and prepare to boil them once again. She's getting rid of the substance that causes them to be bitter. And she's going to rinse them again and drain them out in the strainer. And then she's going to get ready to cook them a second time. And the cassia leaves have been cooked a second time, and now she's going to drain off that water finally, rinse them out, and squeeze them out as well. Make a kind of a cassia leaf ball getting ready to cook the curry. And cassia leaves can be a little bit tough, and so she's going to cut them up into smaller pieces before she cooks them together with the curry to make them easier to eat. They'll be served with white rice, of course, and the combination is incredible. The texture of the leaves, the flavor of the curry. So for her curry, of course, she's going to be using coconut milk and also lemongrass stem, turmeric root, and then she's using red onion and chili, of course, garlic and coriander. The first thing, the lemongrass stem, she's going to cut it up into smaller pieces, shred it up, get it into the blender. Many of the other ingredients will go right into the blender, the onion, the garlic, turmeric root, and also the chilies and coriander seed. Get it right into the blender, everything there and get some water on top of it so we can blend it up. Yeah. 
And then this goes into a pot. This is the base of the curry sauce, of course. Rinse out the blender, get all the goodness out of there, everything that you've got from our garden, our turmeric from our garden, lemongrass from our garden. And she's gonna boil this one up. So once she has all the flavor going there from what she blended for her curry sauce, she'll add the cassia leaves, which she boiled a couple of times before to get rid of the bitter, her coconut milk, and now this is looking like a curry. It's looking and smelling like a good curry. And at the end, she's gonna add some salt, of course, for flavoring. Cook it all up together. And there it is, a delicious curry. So good, so unique, so healthful. We hope that you like this video and will share and comment and subscribe. Bon appétit, buen provecho.